Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're almost at the thousand subscriber mark. So uh, your help will really be greatly appreciated. And it doesn't cost you anything. And today we're having a look at the Lazine, what's it called? Uh, digital check drive. So let's do this thing. So if you've seen any of my other videos, I've done a video on the Topeak uh, digital gauge, which I'll leave a link at the top over there. And I've also done this Blackburn Honest digital gauge. Also uh, leave a little link at the top there if you wish to go have a look at those reviews. But uh, today we're going to obviously look at uh, this one over here. Still in the packaging, if that's what you call it. Um, the opinions are my own. I bought this with my own money. So let's head over to the workbench and have a closer look. Okay, so looking at the gauge, I mean, nothing special with the packaging that it comes in here. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually the original packaging or they just put it on afterwards with these little things, but that's not uh, really important. So if I look at the gauge here, compared to if we take out one of the other gauges I got, for example, this uh, Blackburn one, you can see it's a completely different shape and the toe peak one as well. It's much thinner, much longer, and as a side note, it uses a different type of battery as well. You can see how the battery housing is a lot smaller than uh, these batteries here. These are your standard type of batteries that go in your heart rate monitor, whereas uh, this one's obviously a different type completely. So, the instructions tell me there straight away, well, before we even look at the instructions, I can tell you now this is a 1.5% accuracy on this gauge. So uh, that's something good. It can go up to 350 PSI and uh, let me just look at the action and 24.1 bar, which is actually crazy. I, I think that's, uh, I don't know what you're going to be testing at those pressures, but uh, that's uh, pretty dangerous stuff if you want to look at it. The reported weight of this gauge is 60.9 grams. And uh, the dimensions are 150 millimeters by 149 millimeters by 22.8 millimeters. It can handle both Presta and Trader by just taking this part at the top here and switching it over. So we can take it apart like that, turning it the other way around, and then you can do Schrader, Presta, but as all my bicycles are pressed valves. We'll just leave it like that. The swivel on the top can go 360 degrees, which is absolutely amazing. So these ones over here cannot. They can only go to like there. there. What is that? About 180 degrees. And this one here, also the same thing. So that is a major... Uh, Good point of it there it can do that uh, 360 degree swivel so you can look at it at any point it comes in nice housing it's a black plastic over here and almost sort of like a well it is see-through you can see through it over here from this side of over here then when you switch it on you hold it down for a few seconds I think it's five seconds switch it on there you can have a look at it so it's two seconds, you hold it down, the top here, it'll tell you PSI or bar that you're measuring. The actual reading is here, and the battery level is there, which is also a nice feature, because my other power or my other pressure gauges do not display the battery level at the bottom. To switch it off, you just push it down again, hold the on-off button, and it automatically switches off. If you do just leave it on, it will go off automatically. Okay, so uh, it's measuring the pressure over here. And as a, another side note, the battery that this uses is a CR1220. That's the battery that goes in the little housing over there. Switch the gauge on. And to note, to switch between PSI and bar, all you do is press the on button 
once it switches and if you switch it again it goes to PSI when you're reading bar it's 0, 0.0 so obviously there's a decimal point that you can read there okay to read the pressure we put the gauge on and just press it onto the valve and then it's got a reading of 20 PSI we take it off and you'll see now after a few seconds it goes back to zero so it doesn't actually hold the pressure or indicate to you what the pressure was at that time it also does not give you an audible tone to let you know that the pressure has now stabilized and it's sort of like holding it for you so that you can see it at a later time which the toe peak and the other pressure gauge both do it does have a valve at the top here that you can press to bleed air out I'll demonstrate that now so you just press that on there gets the reading you can just gently basically press press it and let pressure out until you get to the desired pressure that you require okay so that's my closer look at the Lazine digital check drive they also make pumps that have got this um, gauge actually built into the pump so in other words when you're pumping up your tire you can get a pretty accurate reading of what the pressure is the battery has stopped flashing now I'm not sure why it was flashing but uh, yeah that's a bit worrisome why is it flashing when uh, now it's showing fully char or uh, full battery capacity it's flashing then um, I think it's going to take me a bit of getting used to the actual the way the the numbers are read out here like that actually not that this is a comparison between the two products but I actually prefer the way the numbers are read out on this toe peak in other words it's, it's written out crossways instead of like horizontally not horizontally vertically this is read out horizontally and uh, I don't know to me that just is more comfortable or maybe that's what I'm used to and that's why I'm, I'm picking up on that but other than that I love the fact that this can turn 360 degrees that 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 is absolutely a wonderful feature whereas this can't do that um, and this is a limitation and this doesn't have any audio like a peeping noise once it's basically stabilized onto the pressure and you've got the pressure so in other words you must push it on look at the value and then within two seconds if you don't keep the actual pressure going it disappears again whereas these other gauges it makes like a, a beep noise it's basically you know it's got the pressure now you can look at it it stays like that for quite a long time and then until basically the the, the gauge goes into auto power down whereas this doesn't it takes the pressure it holds it for a few seconds and then it goes back to zero and then you take the pressure again but guys let me know in the comments below what do you think what do you prefer uh, horizontal or vertical reading out of the numbers the way this does it um, and have you used this gauge before what do you prefer do you prefer this type of gauge or maybe a more classic gauge like this um, yeah let me know and let me know if there's any other products that you'd like me to review in the comments below I really appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time